Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in, Alessandro the Crypto here, I hope you're doing all fine. Let's have a quick update on the Bitcoin price because we're still moving sideways within this potential falling wedge here which is a bullish pattern even though I still don't trust this pattern right now because I think that we still have to go down here to retest here and have a confirmation of this new support down here at around $8,000. But at least so far it looks like that the support here at around 8,300 is holding so far and uh, we have to see if we can keep it here especially when we go towards the resistance uh, here uh, of this uh, potential falling wedge. So here in the one hour you can see that the stochastic is coming to overbought territory. But the RSI is now testing the 50 level. We are still trading here below the 50 line. So we're still trading on the bearish side. That means that the momentum is still shifted to the downside. So if we're going to get rejected again here in another test here of the resistance, maybe it's a good time to short. But of course, if we would break here out from this uh, resistance, then I would look to open a long position or even better if we're going to test here again the support here at around 8,150 to look for an entry here or at least to scale in the first piece of a long position because if we go over to the Bollinger Band you can also see that right now we're trading right in the middle so there's a high chance that we maybe go down here to test this $8,200 again but I think it's very likely that we could see a breakout here pretty soon. Uh, we have uh, right now the Chinese New Year so there's a high chance that right now we're seeing this sideways action because everyone is in holiday in China that is possible. But I think a breakout will come pretty soon. So you have to be prepared, especially if you want to go long or short here over on Bybit. So make sure that you have already an account here and also put a little bit of deposit to get also some bonuses on Bybit. So at least you're ready here in case of a breakout uh, because that is what I'm looking for right now. As you can see, I'm not in a trade. I'm waiting still for a good entry. And as soon as I go in a position, I will post it also on the Discord trading chat. You can join the chat completely for free. You'll find the invitation code down below here. Just click it and you can join it for free. And uh, if we go over to the four hour time frame, that is what I was mentioning yesterday, is that we need a close here above the 20 moving average in the four hour. And yesterday we almost made it here. I was expecting a breakout here to the upside as soon as we had this close here above the 20 moving average in the 4 hour but we didn't have the close above and you see that immediately we got rejected again. But right now you see that the 20 moving average is lining up perfectly with the resistance here. So I'm watching this line as soon as we have a close above here I think we could see here a big uh, breakout to the upside towards again the upper region here of around $8,900 is very likely I think but uh, keep an eye because this line right now is giving us resistance so we could easily also get rejected again and retest down here the support in the 4 hour we're also trading below the $15 RSI so still in the bearish side uh, the stochastic is in neutral territory if we have a look also on the Bollinger Band here we are still trading in the lower region so uh, there's a high chance that we go up and test here this 8400 the main resistance again but uh, of course uh, we could also easily drop down here to 8200 so we're still moving sideways here we need to wait for a breakout but i'm more tending to long here than to short because uh, there's a high chance that we have enough support down here at this $8,000 area. Also here down below you see that the 200 moving average of the 4 hours is lining up perfectly with this potential new support here at 7,900 which before acted as a resistance. Now it should be a support. And also keep in mind that yesterday on Friday we closed CME market at $8,500 so most likely we're gonna retrace more or less to this price level on a Monday so if we see a drop during the weekend I think it's a good a long entry because we also would have a new future gap uh, down here and remember that this one up here at 8,900 should be still open here in theory at least this is my theory that this gap is still open so if we would break out here to the upside and the target would be up here at around 8,900 we would also feel the CME gap but still there is a high chance that also we could break down here to the downside and first test here the $7,900 maybe even down to $7,500 because here is where I'm looking for 
the good long opportunity here is more like a little bit of a risky trade but with a small position maybe you can enter here as soon as we see a breakout to the upside or to the downside uh, here with just a small position but here at 7500 I would scale in a bigger long if we would reach this level down here because I think we could be in for a bullish move uh, pretty soon even though we are seeing this uh, pullback to the downside right now also here on the daily time frame if we zoom in you can see that right now we are flirting with the 20 daily moving average right now we still didn't have a close below so that is a very bullish sign and also you see that the stochastic oversold and the RSI still above the 50. I think the daily is really looking bullish uh, right now. Also here in the Bollinger Band you can see that we are right in the middle. And uh, yes, the MACD has a bearish cross right now. So there's a high chance that we could go down to 7500 down here at the bottom of the Bollinger Band. That is what is my final target for the worst case that we really continue this drop here. But I think... Uh, between here 8,000 and 7,500 we will bottom before a next leg up to the upside. Uh, latest here at 7,500 I think. And also we can have a quick look on the weekly time frame because here also we have to look how we're going to close tomorrow evening. We have to close here above the 20 weekly moving average in order to be still bullish. So keep an eye tomorrow how we're going to close this weekly candle because here we are also testing the 50 level. Stochastic is coming into overbought territory. It's really depending how we're going to close uh, on uh, Sunday and also Monday how we're going to open. It's going to be very important for the next couple of weeks and months probably so with that said guys i'm gonna wrap it up remember that if you want to claim some free bonuses on bybit or femex you can use my invitation code that you find down below in the video description and also you can find some other links how to get some uh, free cryptos and don't forget to join our free discord trading chat you find the invitation link also down below here so if you like the content you know what to do guys make also sure to subscribe to the channel because i do daily ta videos and also you can participate to my giveaway that i do with every hundred subscribers so thank you for watching and we see us all in the next one. Bye!